وہ آت النساء صدقات ہند نہلا اگین اینڈ گیو اوور ٹو دی ویمن دے ار ڈاور ان دے ار برائڈل منی مہر وچ وی کال صدقات دس از صدقات سنگولر از صداق صداق مینز دی برائڈل منی وچ اے ہسبنڈ پیز ٹو دی برائڈ وچ وی کال مہر سو یو مسٹ پے دی مہر اور دی برائڈل منی اور دی ڈور اور دی ڈاوری وتھ پلیجر نہلا ڈونٹ تھنک اٹس سم فائن دیٹ یو ہیو ٹو پے اٹس ناٹ اے فائن اٹس اے پریزنٹ ٹو یور وڈ بی وائف اینڈ یو نو صدقہ مینز آرمز اور چیریٹی اینڈ دی پلورل از صداقات سو پلیز ڈفرینشیٹ صدقات اینڈ صداقات صداقات از فرام صدقہ and sadaqat is from sidaq and sidaq is the bridal money which is paid by the husband to the bride to the wife at the time of marriage wa atul nisa sadaqat hinna nihla fa intibna lakum an shay'in if they on their own concede some part of their dowry to you well you had promised me 10000 dollars well i give you 1000 out of it i am ready to accept 9000 okay is her authority he she, she can do it for kulu ho honey and maria you can eat it you can use it consume it and you can consume it with pleasure and doing no good to you no bad to you wala tu tu sufaha amwalakum allati jaal allah lakum qiyaman and don't hand over your properties to the feeble minded sufaha foolish feeble minded retarded mentally there are people perhaps an orphan is retarded in mind mentally retarded his father had left much property for him now if you hand over that property to this person he will spoil it because he doesn't have the intelligence and the understanding and the wisdom and the maturity of thinking don't hand over the property to such people you know it is in these type of cases that during the british raj in india there was court of war if there was such minor people who inherited big properties that all those properties were not left at their own like or dislike at their own disposal but the government managed it for them and they were allowed only annual expenditure out of the income of that property that was called court of war and this is something which is necessary in a society because there can be people who don't know what is good for them what is bad for them wala tu tu sufa walakum allati ja'ala allah lakum qiyaman this property is these belongings these things allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made a support for you in this world so if you give them over to these people who are not mentally fit who are not mentally up to mark that you are spoiling it and this is going to be a loss to the community not to the, to the individual alone what zuquhum fiha but you feed them from that waksuhum and clothe them give the proper clothing give the proper food out of the income of that property waqulu lahum qawlan ma'rufa and say to them kind words don't be harsh to them although they are mentally retarded but you know don't be harsh to them you have to be to treat them gently waqulu yatama hatta ida balagun nikah and keep on testing the orphans till such time that they become they come of age they reach the age of marriage they reach the age of puberty now they are not minors they are adults fa'in anastum minhum rushda if you see that they are intelligent they can very well understand what is good for them what is bad for them fad fa'u ilayhim amwalahum now hand over to them their property which was under in your custody it was the property of the orphan his father had left that property for him but because he was a minor you were the guardian you were the custodian but now when he has come of age and now when he is he has reached the age of puberty hand over their property to them wala taakuluha israfan don't eat it up 
Israfan, extravagantly, wa bedaran ayyakburu, and hastily, fearing that they may become majors, they become adults, waman kana, so that you are finishing it up before they become adults. Don't do it. These were the things that were being done over there. This was this, these were the social evils in that society. And now when, you know, Muslims had a society of their own, a system of their own, a state of their own, so to say, now it had, the society had to be reformed from all respects. You see how much detailed the Quran is giving these instructions. Don't do any injustice to any, any section of the society, especially the weaker section. Women are weak, so are the orphans. If a guardian of an orphan is himself rich and self-sufficient, he should abstain and he should not take anything out of the property of the orphan whom whose he is looking after. But woman kana fakiran is some guardian is poor and he is devoting his time, he is looking after the property of the orphan. So he can take something on that account from the property of the orphan. Why woman kana fakiran falyakul bil maruf? But then they should do it in a good way, not that they are drawing heavy sums. And heavy salaries out of the property. But you know the thing which is correct. Just and fair. And when you have handed over to them their properties. Take witnesses. Lest the orphan says no he didn't give it to me. You know, the detailed instructions. These are real matters. Real problems. How many disputes can arise? So have witnesses that this was the property left by his father. Today I am handing it over. You will be witnesses to it. Ashidu alayhim. Wa kafa billahi hasiba. And Allah is sufficient to reckon. He will take the account himself also. Don't think that if you have kept an account of the property of the orphan and you have, have the witnesses also and now there is no other place where you are answerable and responsible. On the day of judgment, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will also take the account. Had you taken it justly or not? 